Good morning. It is Saturday, September 12th, 2015. This is Jason Horak reporting on the ongoing adventures of the Dodge Daytona electric vehicle. We are headed up to Syracuse, New York today to attend the Drive Electric Week car show at the Museum of Science and Technology. This will be the third time that I've gone to an event in Syracuse orchestrated by the same group which is the ChargeNY.com forums and the car is now ready to go. So I just wanted to take a quick look. This is the new paint job. I'm going to visit the car wash on the way. But we're all loaded up and ready to go. Should be fun. Okay, so as we leave for our trip, we're at 174.619 on the odometer. I have reset the trip. Hopefully I'll remember to check that before I shut the car off. The JLD 404 has been zeroed out. We're at 197 starting pack voltage. Here we go. You'll notice that the new motor is very quiet. No more grinding and other bad noises, which is very nice. I have the controller set to very, very modest settings. They're, uh, I got it in economy mode, so the max amps that the car can draw is 500 currently, and that's with a really slow 1000 slew rate. Um, so that means it takes a couple seconds to even get up to the 500, assuming that you bury the pedal. So, anyway, fun stuff. So I'm going to take a quick stop at the car wash, and hopefully the won't have lots of spots and stuff on it for the show. And that is the Museum of Science and Technology. side of the building. I see some EV guys. That's a good sign. That's Greg Tyler right there. <laughs> All right. So our finishing mileage was 174.661 and 43.7 amp hours consumed. So here we are at the Museum of Science and Technology. Dodge Daytona electric vehicle is on display. The lighting in here isn't exactly the best, but he did what he could. So at least you can see the engine compartment. And I have it set up for display purposes. with the rear battery box cover removed. And of course the cord laying on the floor to explain to people about the charging. Fun 
Costa. Well, it's raining out here, but at least I'm kind of out with all the uh, EV folks. Although it was cool being inside the museum, there really wasn't as much foot traffic. So I figured I would bring her outside and talk to some people. Max Energy. I've never seen one of these in white before. That's actually pretty cool. And here we have more cars. Charging. Toyota RAV4. I was standing up and saying, you know, worldwide. Oh, Mercedes Benz. And the adorable Pink City. Back again, I believe from Utica or Rome or somewhere. How fun is that? <laughs> Well, as is my luck, as soon as I brought the car outside, it started pouring rain. That didn't really dampen much of our spirits. We kind of stood out in the rain and chatted, and there were still lots of interest, people who were interested in the electric vehicles, so that was fun. And uh, uh, we talked about electric cars and talked to the public, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, as I'm leaving the museum, the mileage is 174, 659 on the odometer. I've reset the trip again. This time I'll hopefully remember to check it before I shut off the car. And 47.7 amps consumed. In theory, I should have plenty of power to get back home, especially if I take the same route that I took to get here. Here goes nothing. fun. So we're returning from our Syracuse trip to the Museum of Science and Technology and it's raining. It's been kind of a miserable drive back just from the, yeah, the rain. So we're on our way back from our Museum of Science and Technology car show and it's been raining quite a bit. Kind of a typical central New York weather. So, anyway, we've got about 14.4 miles. And I'm taking Route 11, mostly just because I want to make sure that I can baby the motor as much as possible. And as you can see, I'm trying to keep the amps somewhere in the neighborhood of a 100 amp draw, not go too much over that. 
again, just trying to baby that new motor uh, and those new brushes as much as I can. But it's a typical kind of <laughs> kind of day. It looks like we got uh, quite a bit of fog here. Very low visibility. So I'm slowing down just because of the conditions. Times. And here we are, back safe and sound from our Syracuse trip with a finishing amp hour reading of 108.3 and the pack voltage as it rests here is at 191.2. The total trip mileage was 32.2, and the finishing odometer reading was 174.691. Overall, it was a good time. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of rain, but that's the, the way it is sometimes. <laughs>